All right, everyone, we're back. So, came back to a uh, Riverside Manor. Fuck out of here, little shits. Hey, get back here. Anyway, back to Riverside Manor so we can actually uh, go around the other sides and uh, take a look at stuff. I'm also wanted. I accidentally uh, shot uh, another player's turret while defending uh, one of the uh, workbenches. So that kind of fucked us up. So we might have people coming after us trying to, you know, ruin our day to get that sweet, sweet 10 cap bounty. Anyway, I claimed uh, this workstation here uh, mainly because it has three junk, one steel, and one aluminum. And I'm hurting for steel and aluminum right now, I think. Especially steel, because I need to make more of the uh, railroad spikes. Uh, and especially junk, because I need to get, well, stuff that comes from junk. Like plastic and adhesive and all that good old good stuff. So anyway, I think uh, we'll head east here. Hit up this uh, little raider looking icon on the map, which looks to be that thing there. And we'll kind of see... Hey! Hi! You piece of shit. Anyway, yeah, I think we'll do that and we'll just kind of explore... Oh yeah, of course. Wait till I open my map, huh, you piece of shit? Huh? Assholes. Okay. My plan is, what we'll do is we'll just kind of explore around this lake, since there's a couple places here we haven't been to. And then I guess we'll uh, hit up Somerville, water treatment plant, and that kind of stuff there. And, uh, eventually just kind of work our way up against the divide here, and, uh, you know, go, uh, go from there, so... That's the plan. All right, anyway, back on track now that those things aren't here. Bleeding Kate's Grindhouse. Sounds like a... What the fuck is this? Is it rock or flesh? There's something skittering about, and I don't like it. Ah. Fuck you. Really? Oh, it's a stingwing nest? Is that what that is? Also, I can't see if players are nearby, so I can't tell if I need to be on my guard or not, which is unfortunate, but, uh... It looks like this is just a, uh, a raider den, I suppose, huh? I don't know if there's gonna be anything too good in here, but we can, you know, search around a little and... Oh, look, uh... Robco down here. Tiles. Hmm. What about faces? No. So it doesn't end in ES. Gotcha. Okay, tiles, tiles, tiles. Go. Go oh, back. Leads. Baby tapes. Okay. Disengage lock. Didn't know there was a safe anywhere around here. Oh, there was. I meant to pull out my gun and not uh, do that, but whatever works. Damn sting wings. Can I just, like, purge this from the earth? This is their nest, right? Can I just, like, completely purge it? Oh god, can I purge all of these? Holy shit. This makes me itchy just looking at them. Ooh, a quantum. Ah! Shit, what? Ow! Did it get angry I fucking hit its thing, or what? Felt like a lot of damage, I feel. Okay, well... 
that's that. Oh look, there's another fissure over that way. Oops, I, oops, there we go. Got a humming rifle there, frag mine there. Let's go ahead and leave out this way. Okay, um... Real quick, let's just survey the area. So down there is Uncanny Caverns and that. We'll leave that for now. There's a fissure up here somewhere. Stop it. Okay, let's go down this way. There's like a factory down here, I think. That's what the icon looks like. I wonder if that's across the river or not. Or across the lake, I should say, not a river. It very well might be, because that one right there on the other side, on the right, looks like a dock. So I think... No, because it would be... If it's in the factory, it would be like in here in Charleston, right? Hold up. We'll look. Anyhow, while we're making our way over here, I gotta say, that's cool. I gotta say, so far, Fallout 76, definitely my game of the year. Now, keep in mind, when you guys are watching this, it's like, uh, probably gonna be February or March, maybe even April. Um, but when I'm playing it, it's currently, uh, November 20th. That's actually Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day, which is November 23rd, I think, this year? Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, totally my game of the year. I don't remember any other games that I've played... Um, so far this year that have really, like, been good. Like, I think we played We Happy Few, and actually, I can only remember We Happy Few. I don't know what else we played. I think we might have played, replayed Halo and stuff, but that's nothing new. So I don't know what else has come out that I played that came out this year that I thought would be kind of interesting. I don't think we've done anything. Huh. Well, yeah, definitely my game of the year, because, like, it, everything's beautiful, the map's huge, the enemies are cool. Oh, hey. I'm trying not to hit that. Oh, God! He says that he fucking hits it. Ah, damn it. Try not to hit the... Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, just... you fucked. But, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. Definitely looking forward to continuing to play it and uh, not fall down that hole. Oh. Was that a guy in power armor or was that a super mutant? It was just a super mutant. Fine. Yeah. No other game has made me want to be like, yeah. I can't wait to go home and play that this year. Except for this. And sure a lot of people are saying Red Dead Redemption 2. I've not played it, and I don't think I want to play it. It's not really my cup of tea, you know? I've, I've watched some streamers play it and whatnot, but, uh... It seems like a lot of riding your horse around, and not a lot of stuff like this where you, uh... actually get to fight a lot of people. It's mostly a story game, is what it is, Red Dead Redemption 2. This one's more about making your own story. Which I'm quite alright with. But, uh, yeah. I also didn't like the ending of Red Dead 2. It was quite bad, in my opinion. The main character's ending, anyway. I haven't seen the, uh, the epilogue ending or anything like that, but, I mean, we all kind of know how that ends since we've played Red Dead 1. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide down here. Loot this guy real quick. Ow. Let's see. Caps. That. Single action revolver. Sticky tar. Waste acid and oil. I needed acid anyway, so it's a good thing we killed him. Okay. Well. Looks like that's all that's in this area then, right? There's a thing up north, which is that one. Which we can get to later. So. Alright, we'll keep heading uh, around this way. We'll go uh, clockwise. Yeah. I don't know. I think people are just... This, this game's beautiful to me. I love it. It's great, but like... Red Dead Redemption 2 looks good, don't get me wrong. But... It's mostly a game where you don't have control of anything in the game. And that, to me, is just 
basically playing a story. You're not playing a, a game. Because uh, I've, I've seen people play it, and they like... You basically have to be bad. You can't be a good character. And even if you do play good, the ending between the good and the bad karma, it doesn't... It, it's nothing special. So there's really no reason to do it. I mean, spoilers for Red Dead Redemption if you've not beat it or seen it play it already. If uh, you get good karma, basically your character dies watching the sunset. If you have bad or neutral karma, I think, um, your character dies without seeing the sunset. And that's, uh, that's how it is. There's nothing special about it. You die regardless of whether you have good or bad karma. And you don't even get to kill the guy who kills you. Or who's like an asshole and whatnot. You literally just die with like a bunch of unresolved shit. And your one good thing that you did was letting John escape. And that's all. So that's the end of the spoiler there, but I don't know. It was just dumb to me that you did all that stuff as that character, and then that's the ending. But uh, I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong. Red Dead Two is a, a decent game. It's just not my game of the year. But it just seems real repetitive to me. What you do in Red Dead Two is you just you go between people, giving you quests, and and you do their quest for you, and all that, but I don't know. And some could say this is repetitive too, but I like these areas better. They're more interesting. Like, anything can happen in Fallout. In fucking Red Dead, you don't have a whole lot of different options of stuff that you can have happen. Everything's set within the real world, so you all know pretty much what's going to happen. A cowboy's gonna do cowboy things, there's gonna be shootouts. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Fucking Red Dead. When you're getting shootouts, like, enemies just, like, spawn... ...so... ...unnecessarily. Like, you have a tiny-ass town, and then all of a sudden there's, like, 40 people around. And... ...shooting at you. Just to, like, pad the numbers and stuff. Like, throughout the game, your character in Red Dead probably kills, like, hundreds of people. But, yeah, I don't know, I, think, I just think that's weird. When games do that, they, like, add unnecessary, like, scripted enemies to join in and stuff. Whereas, uh, Fallout, I mean, everything's already in the world. Um, with the exception of when occasionally monsters respawn to, you know, multiplayer reasons. But, I mean, that's just multiplayer, baby. It happens. It happens in any MMO. Yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying Fallout 76, regardless of how repetitive or odd and whatnot it seems, but I, I dig it. It's the only game that I'm like, at work, sitting there, and I'm just like humming country roads, and really wanted to play Fallout. It's real great. Real great. What the fuck was that? Am I getting these canned meat stews because it's Thanksgiving? Is that what's going on here? Is that a nice little event they have where you're gonna get canned meat stew every so often because it's Thanksgiving? Weird if it is. Anyway. But yeah. I'm real excited to see the rest of the map too, because I mean oh, there's a ghoul. Anyway, because we've only covered like Barely a fourth of it. We have all of this, which is a huge area. We have all of this, and we have all of this down here. So we've barely scratched like a fourth of the map, and we've already spent 30 hours or so in the game. So we're going to probably end up having like around 100 just, just exploring things, not necessarily even like doing anything with other players, or doing the story and stuff, and all that whatnot, but definitely worth the money to me. But, uh, yeah. I had one friend I was talking to about, uh, the game, who I thought he was gonna like it, because he played the beta and whatnot, but then, uh, as he got further into the actual game, he started to not like it. I thought that was kind of odd. I asked him what he didn't like, and most of what he said was he didn't like that there weren't any NPCs, and uh, he said it kind of felt a little bit repetitive. 
and kind of lonely. And most of that stuff, I mean, repetitiveness, I, I understand, but that's just typical MMO stuff is everything gets kind of repetitive. Go to A to B, I mean, and whatnot. And if you really think about it, all the fallouts are kind of repetitive since basically you go to a place, you loot it, and then you leave. Um, it's just occasionally you have quests that are taking place in that area and whatnot, but... I don't know, as for the NPCs, yeah, his, his gripe wasn't, um... There wasn't anyone to sell with and whatnot, he just said... If there were NPCs there to give quests and stuff, it would make him feel more, uh... Immersive. Like, it, like there'd actually be a reason to do the quests as opposed to doing it for robots or stuff like that. Um... And he also said he just wanted, like, random NPCs that didn't have anything to do with anything. They were just there, existing, just to make it feel more, you know, alive and all that kind of stuff, which I think's weird. But, I mean, you can't really be mad at the game if that's your reason you don't like it. Because they straight up said there's not going to be any NPCs in the game before they released it. And also that you're going to be, like, the first people who are out into the wasteland. So it's supposed to be, like, a lonely kind of game and whatnot, but honestly, everything about the Fallout 76, I thought there was a fucking person, like, bent over. It was pretty much in line with, uh, my expectations and what they've, you know, pretty much told us. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of anything that they would have mentioned that is not in the game. And I don't remember anything offhand. It's probably, like, one little small thing that, like, they mentioned that I don't care about. That someone's gonna comment and be like, hey, they didn't do this. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, well, that's dumb. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I'm really digging it. It's super great. Like, even just roaming around doing this, like, just exploring, not even questing, just exploring, is what I love about Fallout games. So I don't care about random NPCs being dumb, I don't care about getting quests from certain people. What I like doing in Fallout is exploring all the locations. Finding the weird things that are out and about. Like our gallery here. Oh, let's open that up real quick. Cause I think I can get into it, right? A photo gallery, yeah. So just all the, the different shenanigans that you can find. Like this carnival place. Or like these little pumpkins. Or this weird thing. Or this church. Or this church. Or this fucking ride roach in the top hat and the cane. Or uh, this weird altar. And this little shack here. That's pretty cool. A church. And this place out here. That was way down south with no markers around it or that place in the back. It was just a random location that you've just, just found. Which I think, personally, that is what makes Fallout great is that there's just places lying around that uh, you can find that aren't on the map, they're just kind of chilling and hidden there that you can find and you're like, gee, I wonder what the hell this is about. You know? Because it's like all those weird churches, it's like, who built this? Was it built before or after the bombs? You would assume it'd be after, right? But what's this say? Um, hubba hubba. <laughs> See, look at that. That is great. There's a little attention to detail like this makes the game worth just exploring to find out. And there's nothing else on this roof. That's the thing. There's one roof access here, nothing else up here. And yet you come up there and you find that. That is just great. Like, goddamn. There's so many interesting aspects of just roaming around and finding things that you can do in this game. It's just... It's beautiful. Yeah, and like I've said previously, that's kind of a weird <laughs> texture there. Um, my only gripes with the game right now are the limits on my storage, which they're gonna address at a later point and increase the size. But I understand the, in, the the limit on it, because if you have to have like 30 or 40 players in the game, and each of them has their own chest with hundreds of items in it, 
Um, that's stuff that the game has to deal with and load. So it's not just, you know, your stuff that it's loading or keeping track of. It's everyone else's. And I think the servers max out at 30 people. So if there's 30 people with hundreds of items just in their stash there. It's a lot of processing that the game has to do. To, like, keep it from, like, chugging or slowing down or other weird shit like that. So, but I understand why they did it. And I like that they're going to be like, okay, yeah, we'll increase the uh, the cap size here. And, you know, see uh, how far we can take it before stuff starts chugging down. Um, another thing I don't like too much is the, the level requirements for weapons. Now, if it was, like, level requirements to, like, um, modify weapons and stuff like that, I would be okay with it. But just getting weapons and not being able to use them kind of sucks, especially with the, uh, the stash uh, limit there. Um, that's unfortunate because I like to, you know, be able to use anything I find right away. Whereas, yeah. Oh, by the way, I leveled up to 35 and I uh, got that last perk on the cap thing. So now I get a lot of caps whenever I find something in storage. So, yeah. But yeah, like the, the level thing and then the stash thing, both kind of... You know, eh, me. One's being fixed. The other one, I understand the level one, because again, you're uh, playing a multiplayer game. You don't want people who are level one to get a hold of a uh, uh, a machine gun. Like Jesus Christ, I found a level fifty automatic grenade launcher in a, a supply drop I did before I started recording, and I was like, really. It was fucking weird. Did like 120 damage per shot. And it was, goddamn. Yeah, imagine getting that at like level one and like fighting these guys. Just tink, dead, tink, dead. It'd be like this. It'd be like me as like a level one, getting a hold of this gauntlet and then just coming through here, not having like any issue killing these guys. It'd be kinda ruining for your experience to just be able to find that and like do that at this lower level but since I'm a higher level and I'm coming back to this lower level area it makes a little more sense that I am killing them this easily as opposed to just seeing them and killing them real quick regardless you know but I don't know and that's just my own what does this industrial solvent have on it and why does it not have acid hold on Antiseptic. Ugh. <laughs> but yeah. Must, kill. Must you kill? Why can't we just love, man? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop going off of my little rant here. Oh, another forest treasure map. Fuck yeah. Um Is that near a bridge? Is that a town in the distance? I mean, that's gonna be hard. That one's gonna be real hard. Looks like there's some sort of larger structure. Hmm. Interesting. I think I already have the park and grill one, but I'll just take it for now. I'm gonna hit here in five, four, three, two, one. No? Oh man, I thought they were getting closer. Unfortunate. Okay, um. Already got that. I can load a trash can. I can move that. So many treasure maps. So little time. Let's go ahead and scrap our stuff. So the thing is, with uh, us being wanted like this, if someone comes in here and just like murders us, uh, we're gonna lose all of our materials. Oh fuck, I still have this power armor frame on me, right? But there's nothing on it. It's just uh, an empty power armor frame. I'm waiting to see if I can find a... I want to see if it would explode. I'm waiting to find a power armor station so I can make that last right leg that I need to make on the, uh, the power armor excavator suit. 
You're being really loud, my scorched friend. Oop. Also, some people would be upset about those weird, like, j m mechanics about uh, where they're like sliding around or T-posing and stuff. I don't care. I find it hilarious. I just like killing things. That's all. I play Fallout for two reasons. To explore and to kill things. The story is completely secondary. So, it works for me. Alrighty, you little bastards, where are you at? Hello there. Look at all this goddamn plastic I can take. What does the wooden block have that I need? Lead? There's lead? Oh, lead paint. Right, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Grab all the wood. Also need some nuclear material. I think I'm running low on that. Come on. I need lead to make more bullets. Yes, I do. Oh, there's a little chest here. Is that one open? Yeah, that one's open. Damn. That's too bad. Shame. Okay. Uh, let's check this red room, then we can go around the other side there and continue our... Who the fuck is walking around out there? Huh? Is she feeding the birds? Is that what that's supposed to be implying? Because there's a bird decoration there and she has a bread box. So she was just feeding the birds, is that it? Stash. Got it. Got it. There we go. Plus 25. Hells to the yeah. I don't know where the other guy's walking around at. But he is making very, very loud footsteps. And it's very, very not okay with me. So it looks like these are all just river resort cabins or something like that. Maybe people have like a timeshare or like a vacation home here, I would assume. Also, I love actually getting use out of this fucking claw. Pretty great. Oh, of course, Hornwright. Gee, I wonder what the fuck we're gonna find here. Excuse me? What a... Hello? Oh, it's a liberator. I've never listened to them move like that before, though. It's kinda... fucked up. I wonder... Can I just go ahead and make some more armor or ammo here? So, you know, since I'm here. No sense, uh, you know, getting killed or anything while we're just out and about. Here we go. In one of those rooms. Let's see if I can get up there somehow. Let's find out how. Right here. Hey, you fucking little bastards, let's go! aluminum too, which is why that coffee tin's there. More plastic for the bulk. The 
regard to the infestation. Those damn kids are back, sneaking around, getting into my estate, little bastards. Make sure you lay some sugar off the bombs with rat poisoning and leave them out where you can easily find them. That worked the last time we had pests. My husband and I didn't go to the vault with Casey because we weren't about to live like common rabble, like some commune with quotas and an overseer dictator live, living above everyone else. That's communist crap. The only people we care about are our own. You and the girls had better fix this or we'll find themselves, or we'll see who finds themselves kicked out of here. Best. Mrs. Um. Amalethia? Al. Amal. Amal. Amalkia? I don't know. Whatever. She doesn't like kids, and she has rat poison. Also, I think I need that. Is that acid? I don't know what it is. Also, kids, if you're listening, don't eat random stuff you find, okay? Just don't do it. Just, uh, make sure it's either given to you by, you know, family member, or you get it yourself from a store. Hey, Anya. I know we're just supposed to leave useful things in the dead drop, so we don't take up a lot of space, but, but I wanted to tell you something. You're so practical and thoughtful, and you always notice the good stuff first, and you always give me things so I can make it out here. You're really special to me. I'm sorry if this makes you mad to hear, but you probably don't like me like that. I know I was a great behind you when this war happened. I guess we have to take chances now, though, right? I'll wait for you in the big cabin where we stayed during the field trip, and maybe we can talk about it. Ah, young love. Oh, that was a rock. Never mind. Let's go. Come get me. The bastard saw me charging and preemptively jumped into that fucking spinny death thing that they have. What a dick. There's a cabin out by the woods or something. That I'm assuming I'm gonna find two dead girls in. It doesn't look like that's so great. Like, it's not even like a quest, it's just, oh, by the way, here's this thing you could potentially find. Let's play some piano. I don't think we've played a piano yet, have we? I guess I saw an ID card over there. Bar block again. Yeah, I did. Bornwright Estate. Oh. Of course. I already got one of those, though. Oh, a gala mystery here. Hmm. I wonder if that's who left the hollow tape. Is one of those girls, the mystery gals. Oh, also, you might be wondering why we're so light on weight right now. Well, the good news, everyone, is that I decided to drop those 80,000 fucking power cores, the fusion cores that I had in my ammunition area. Oh, gotta say, best decision ever. I've been able to carry so much. Hey, did I fucking search that trunk, by the way? I did not. Not that I had anything good in it anyway, but still. There's no access to the second floor. I said access, not Alexa. Stop it. God. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's next? So we got, um... Over there, I think that's that place a little icon we haven't seen over there and then we have looks like a lighthouse over this way on the east knock it off okay 
we have a fissure over here, so I guess let's uh, search this greenhouse and we'll head south and east, huh? Come on, drop teeth! How are y'all doing? Hello, garden gnome. I guess we can, uh, kind of loop down here. So we'll kind of just go in like a little section here, back and forth across until we end up with, uh, everything located and seen, huh? Yeah, that, that'll be the plan. And then uh, once we hit, I guess right here, because after this point we'll have to go into this narrow alleyway here. We'll just loop around here real quick before doing that. And, oh, my AP's gone. God damn it. I think if while you're running, you go into your uh, map like that. Not that. Hold on. Like that. I don't think it replenishes your AP. Yeah, it does not. So. Excuse me? Oh, right. Yeah, Scorch Beast. I knew, I knew there was a Scorch Beast here, but. I didn't think I'd see one taking off. God damn. The Scorch Beast is gonna fucking claim this bounty on me, my god. Uh, jump, please. Yep. I don't know why they're so fucking accurate with that shit. It's so fucking annoying. Okay. There's a uh, radio beacon up this way. We'll go that way. Scorch Beast, if you could just fuck off a little bit, that'd be excellent. What the fuck do you mean? Get out of here. Um, I heard Virum. <gasps> get him, Virum Birds! Get him! Yeah, take him down! I'm not gonna waste my half killing those fucking things again. If they wanna help against the Scorch Beast, God bless. Got another relay tower. Excellent. So what's guarding this one? Ah, scorched. Excellent. What is this? Ah, hey! Ow, goddamn, I staggered fucking way back, huh? Short laser pistol. Let's uh, real quick take a... Impact. This is gonna be a drawn out fight, I can tell. Also, if the fucking Scorch Beast come back over here, we're gonna definitely need a help. Stay in range. Hey dick, quit backing up. Okay, there we go. Now then, let's, uh. Definitely heard the vertebird taking shots, so. Or is that a Mr. Handy? God damn it, we just found another one. Okay, clinic. There should be two. I think the yellow one's where we're at, right? Yeah, the other one's definitely where we're at. Big Ben Tunnel West. Garahan Mining, I already got that. What's this one? ELB21. Anything else on the map? No. Okay. Well, we learned about one place. That's cool. I guess let's uh, repair this real quick. And then we'll go ahead and call in a supply drop. And hopefully it goes somewhere that we want to actually go towards. It did not. Fuck, the Scorch Beast hadn't even taken any goddamn damage. Oh, 
vertebrates are having bad times, though. Oh, the vertebrates are getting taken out by the fucking lasers, too. You know what? Let's, uh... Fuck it. Since it's that low anyway, might as well finish it off, right? Get that, uh, nice-ass experience. Go. Hey, Scorch Beast, how about you land and we'll fucking fight this out, huh? Damn. Okay, fine. Don't land then. Keep being an asshole. Okay, we're gonna take shelter here in the uh, Uncanny Caverns, if possible. It's gotta be like a, an actual inside of this area, right? Yeah. Go ahead and get the fuck in here and take cover from that goddamn Scorch Beast, huh? And before it follows us in somehow. I mean, at least then, if it does, it'll be in a cave, and I can just, uh... Spam shotgun it or some shit, right? Okay. First of all, we need to eat and drink a little bit. Okay, where's my meat stew? There it is. Go ahead and do that. Then we get some water going. There we go. Okay. I guess for now, uh, we'll just go ahead and explore this because the, uh, the supply stash will be there for a while. I hear bugs. Let's get our fly swatter out. The beautiful uncanny caverns. Here. Okay. Hmm, a wooden crate. Let me guess. It is empty, right? And? Oh no, it's not. Huh. Wow, that's the first time for everything, I guess. So, what is the deal with the uncanny caverns? I remember we had like a marker here once to like check it out or something, but. I don't remember if it was like a quest or if we just saw like a pamphlet saying, hey, check out the Uncanny Caverns. And it became a mark on our map. I don't remember. Y'all want some? Let's go. Come on. Got some for all y'all. Thought. Two. Purple glow back there. Excuse me while I check out this purple glow. Is that just a purple light? Why? To make it look like something's back there or something cool is gonna happen. I don't know. Fact. Rigged! Sim Sim Salabim! Get fucked. What's back this way? Oh, that's a fucking monkey. Shut your face! Ow, pungies! That's rude. Hold that thought real quick. Ow. 
Dick. There we go. And this just loops back around towards where I was, right? I just want to confirm. Yep, okay, cool. Oh, I thought I heard someone come up behind me. It was just the fucking crate I was carrying with me while I was running. Three, huh? Four. Hole. Oh! Wow, that's rude as fuck, my dude. Ow. We got a hollow tape. Curse of the Wendigo. Oh my god. Here we go. This is part two, though. Tonight, we bring you the final chapter of Curse of the Windigo. When last we left off, Richard Moore was recovering from radiation exposure. His family had just returned home. Can I show Dad my gun? Jimmy, I told you, not in the house. And remember, you can't go into the bedroom yet. Aw, stupid quarantine. I know it's hard, sweetheart. But we just have to be patient. This happens to lots of people with important jobs like your father's. Okay, I won't go in. I'll just say hi. Okay, from there. Dad? Dad? Did you fall asleep? Hey, Jimmy! Is that you out there, sport? Yeah, it's me. Uh, Jimmy, uh, I'm hungry. Okay, Dad. I'll go tell Godrich to make you something. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 why don't you come in, son? Take your old man a visit. I'm not supposed to get too close yet, remember? Now, James, if your father says it's okay, then it's okay. Now, you come in here. Uh, I don't know. You sure? Positive. You come and give your dad a big hug. Now, Jimmy. Well, all right. If you say it's okay. Big shit. Dad, Vegetables give me uh, two times benefits, and I can't get disease. Okay, not bad. Bleed radiation from wounds. Wait, I bleed radiation from wounds? That seems neat, but I don't think I want it. I don't think it's the kind of thing that I am thinking it is. Where uh, I bleed, and other people... Oh fuck, I didn't want to drop that. I'm going to drop... Okay, dirty water. Not the disease cure. God damn it. Please. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drink some purified water here to heal myself. Before you leave the royalty room, we'd like you to experience the decades-old tradition of listening for Night Kid. Some say if you're quiet enough at the right time of day, you can hear Night Kid scurry around the dark recesses of the cave ceiling. Everybody in the tour group, take a brief moment of silence, if you dare. When you're done, head down the stairs to continue the tour. Please, watch your step. I wasn't sure they were going to play a sound or anything like that. Okay, continuing on. The next stop 
up in our tour is the impressive Poseidon's Passage, so named after the ancient Greek god of the sea, earthquakes, storms, and horses. Man. Oh, shit. Real quick, then. It's back here. Run time, let's go. Hold on, did I come from here? I did not. Okay. There's a way, yeah, I did. It's nine. The final stop of the cell okay, yeah, it just loops. Cool. We're done at Ankeny Caverns. Let's uh, fast travel then, shall we? I like that you can fast travel from inside now. That is so great. I wonder what kind of damage the Scorch Piece deals. Is it explosive, physical, or energy? Or a mix of both? See, if I can figure that out, I can determine what I need for armor in order to defend myself against it. So, yeah. Shit. Robots! Okay, ow. First of all, ow. I'm gonna real quick run back to my base here. I can scrap all my junk. And hopefully store most of it. There we go. Light them up, boys! I still have junk, I do still have junk on me. I'll pick up some more stuff to make ammo with. I guess while my turrets are doing the work, I'll, uh... I'm out of steel? Okay. What's this world coming to? The guy's out of steel. Um... Go repair my stuff here. More steel to repair. Great. How about now? Yeah, just got enough steel from that. I need more ballistic fiber again. How about weapons? What are they doing? More steel. God damn it. Okay. This is gonna give me steel, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. Go. And we can hopefully repair this next piece, right? Not any ballistic fiber for it, right? But this piece. Was it this one? No. Oh, I already got steel for that one, right? I just need ballistic fiber now. Cool. Okay, what the fuck do we have a lot of? We got a lot of circuits. 
A lot of fiberglass. Shit's enough asbestos. I don't know anything that actually takes asbestos, you know? It's got a lot of waste antiseptic. Still under attack. Ah, from the rear, huh? See how it is. I see you up there. There we go. And defend it. Okay. Store that aluminum back there. Where'd I get the that from? Whatever. Uh, drop that, drop that, drop that. Let's go ahead and check our uh, things here. This has been about an hour. We got saw some ballistic fiber in there. So we're generating aluminum, steel, and a bunch of junk. So hopefully we get enough screws and everything else from that that we should be pretty well good. Or right, I'm not locking them either. Oh, well, that's fine. Make sure I didn't get anything in scrap. Okay. Okay, now we're back at the maximum. All right, what else can we get rid of? We have a shit ton of copper. Here's our normal copper. Eh, keep that for now. We also have a shit ton of adhesive. We actually have like 170 adhesive. So I think I can uh, um, stop searching for that, to be really honest. We're just so used to having none of it. That is just, yeah, it's gotten out of hand. Going to get rid of most of our fiberglass. Get rid of a decent amount of our wood. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I got dresser plans too? I already know. Hooray! Okay, well, one more thing to do here. Get rid of the uh, hollow tapes that we've listened to. What are those? Not bad. You know. Welcome back, dear listeners. It's time once again to put aside all you think you know, all you believe to be true. We'll listen to that uh, next time, actually. Yeah. Everything else is just, uh, cool. Alright, excellent. Well, we'll go ahead and end things here. Um, we still gotta get that supply drop down here, so... I'm gonna actually go do that real quick here. Um, we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll get the supply drop, and then we'll leave. That'll be all. And that'll be the end of our, uh... Yeah. And then uh, I guess we'll go back to Uncanny Caverns uh, next time to explore the outside since we were so rudely interrupted by a goddamn Scorch Beast. But uh, yeah, it should be interesting, wonderful, all of the above. Please don't be in a building, that's all I ask.
Let's go, Protectron. Me and you. Let's go. Shit. I died. I'm also going to kill myself a couple of times between now and next episode. Just so we have a little more health. So we'll get, the, get this drop. I'll probably go home so I can drop it off. And then uh, from there... Let's go, bitch. Come on. There's always room for steel scrap now that i got a railroad rifle. Motherfuckers. I did not watch your propaganda flyer, you son of a bitch. Goddamn commies. Poor Protectron. You leave that alone. You leave that alone, I said. Cannonball XL, disease cure, broad slider, electrified revolutionary sword. Okay. All right, well, that's everything for here, everyone. We'll go ahead and end things. I'm going to go down to the, uh, the railroad station, see if I can sell anything. And then, uh, if I can fucking not die. That's the key thing here. See if I can sell anything to the railroad guy. I got some bulk items that I'd like to, uh, see if I can get rid of. And, uh, then I'm going to go down, kill myself a couple of times, meet you guys back at, a uh, Uncanny Cavern. So, until then... I'll catch you all later. Bye now.